This is Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm, and I'm gonna talk about this stuff that nobody talks about in Florida to grow tropical fruit trees. And that's the natural stuff, the natural system, completely ignored. Uh, when I went on this journey to grow tropical fruit trees, I reached out and looked at, for information how to do it in Florida, because I had two and a half acres and I just discovered tropical fruit trees and I couldn't find any information. And the colleges, they're like, so the, you know, whatever, you know the one uh, about growing, it's totally in bed with the chemical companies and the product supply people. And um, it needs to be in bed with nature. And I want to talk about people moving here to buy property and starting tropical fruit farms or just moving here in general and buying up uh, large tracts of land. This was all cattle pasture, uh, like 55 acres or something like that. And uh, there's a house back there. We have like three neighbors on this side of our property and one on the back and then two on the other side none on the front a road on the front but this was a cattle property and see what they do nobody's here right now so i can kind of film it is um they buy these five acre lots because you have to have a five acre lot this is right in the middle of uh tract home central and i mean i could probably walk to the Florida State University or college, whatever it is, from here in Vero Beach and Starbucks if I had to. Easily a, a dozen churches. But so they buy this property and then they start mowing it. And then when the rain comes, because they've been driving on it, you know, as a cow pasture, it was perfect. And then they start driving on it and then it fills with water. So then they can't mow in areas like there where the grasses see the different colors. That's because it's all standing water. So then when they can't do that, then they start pruning all the palm trees. Um, that one in the very center where the sun is coming through the clouds that one's pruned they haven't been able to reach the really tall ones but they're pruning them all up and then what they started doing they there was like a hundred year old oak at least over there it wasn't as old as ours but it was a like a the oldest one on that property um and they cut it down you could see the log I mean, it's like right in the center to the to the left of those uh, trailers and it's to, I mean, to the right of those trailers as you're looking at it. Yeah. So those trailers, since they bought the property, they have been hauling at least one red. Those are big tra trailers too. One big uh, trailer full of debris away a week at least they're recycling and now they're up to like two so at least they're not burning it like uh, a lot of the people do all the birds guess where they have to live they have to move over here and they also chop down the old pine trees you know the old pine trees here in florida that uh die from a hurricane like like die will die a year later so like these old pine trees but then they stand for years and they become full of life for uh, uh, like tons of different tons of life it's like a high rise of biology when they're dead so they're not gonna fall on you. The branches have already fallen off. It's like one solid, straight up thing. Anyway, people are buying land here and then they wanna get water to plant or to, so they could grow their trees. You do not need water here in Vero Beach. 
to grow tropical fruit trees. Naturally. This information about, right? This information uh, vacuum that exists between uh, what's natural in Florida, you know, all this stuff that they mow down, they mow it, you have to mow it, yeah. You have to mow your grass and your weeds. This is what's destroying Florida. You, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. When you stop mowing your lawn, it becomes this. I didn't plant this, people. It comes by itself. Oh, and uh, what they do, I forgot to mention one last thing. What they do when they can't uh, cut their grass because it's flooded, they start hauling in truckload after truckload after truckload of fill. This was a cattle pasture. We don't have standing water. We have a lot more acreage than them. Uh, it's, see the big piles of dirt back there? I don't know, the sun's coming up now, but they're in the trees. They're like a shadow right in the center, like right here. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, then they get filled to fill it in, and guess what? Those little, like, pond areas, natural pond areas on your property that you don't mow turn into little frog habitats. So, and all those trees and tree branches and tree limbs that you remove and haul away, those are all, like, full of, like, probably tree frogs and stuff. These people that they move here and they they nobody talks about the natural in Florida. They just rip it out or mow over it. It's the natural system. So when you're looking for property, I think it's imperative that you look for what the plant plant life growing on the property is. I think that's number one if for growing tropical fruit trees. So if you have a place that's completely riddled in pepper trees, you can be guaranteed that it will be an excellent nursery for all your fruit trees. It's going to be a lot of work to start managing it, but it can be done. Five acres, two acres. This is 10 acres and I'm able to do it on my own without any problem. I think I've proven to the tropical fruit people here in Florida, though, they just fail to just believe <laughs> what they see. It's a real problem. I think it's the food system. I, I just can't believe that people are so, want to be so ignorant. I just can't believe that. I have more faith in humanity. I think it's because they've re removed the, but you know, the, the natural fungi. You can't just put the mycorrhiza in the roots with a product you buy. It's, it doesn't work like that. Anything you apply to your system. I saw a soil test, you know, commercial growth for soil tests. We've never gotten a soil test. You do not need to get a soil test in Florida. We have calcareous soils. Yes, that's what you want for a biological system. I just, um, I just think it's too late. Uh, Florida just doesn't seem to get it. And the colleges don't seem to help. And... Nobody talks about uh, the, uh, the natural system and how easy it is to grow your tropical fruit trees. You're, that's expensive fruit. I mean, I can't believe not everyone's not doing it. I just can't believe it. Um, they still want to get their soil test and balance their soil. Don't do that. This isn't the most biodiverse spot in North America because of your soil balancing skills. It's just like crazy. It's the biology. You've got to put the, the, you've got to put nature into your system for growing tropical fruit trees. It's just, I mean, how many people in Florida have fruited five different garcinias in five years? 
Eh, none. It's, I uh, just, I just see these people pushing their products, their tractors and their, um, w their system, their wood chip system, but then they, they don't tell you how their system works. And the only information is from a university and they don't, it, they don't ever mention the natural system to grow tropical fruit trees. It's so freaking easy. You don't water them. You don't need a well here. Not if you're starting your seeds correctly or your trees correctly. Uh, people think that they start their seeds correctly because they put hydrogen peroxide on them and they have sterilized soil. Eh, wrong. The seeds should be inoculated with the biology on its seed coat. All of it. So, I mean, that's how you get a uh, rhizosheath to form. Uh, just, I, I read this stuff. I want to talk about our seeds, but I read this stuff and it's like people just don't seem to understand. They, they continually reach for a product and the product is, the product is your eyes and not being able to intervene for growing tropical fruit trees you need to throw down compost I mean I this John Kemp video I watched a couple days ago the most recent one it just kind of like they said they they made compost like so nonchalant and they apply or they got it but they got it all from the 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 non-naturally grown cattle. Filthy places with filthy chemicals are being used. You cannot get a natural result from an unnatural polluted material. The, the cows don't have the biology in their gut that you need for your healthy biological system. So yeah, calcareous soils are the premium soils to grow biologically and you don't have to worry about your product your pH you have to look at the system you have to look at the what's growing there the stuff that's growing there is your uh, just it's, don't look for one individual plant just look at see how healthy the whole system is as a whole just if it's all pepper trees and it's lush and thick I can guarantee you, you'll be growing a forest of achacha trees in there quite easily without ever having to water them. I don't know. Seeds, yeah, we have seeds. I like to sell fresh seeds. We have sugar apple seeds and we have guava seeds and we have some fresh purple, I think it's voodoo child, um, purple dragon fruit seeds. And we have... Um, some carry and some Sri uh, star fruit seeds and what else do we have? I don't know. We have some other seeds. We'll have some other seeds. We have a lot of stuff. We fruit a lot of stuff. We fruit a lot of stuff and we don't have to water it. We don't have to do anything really. When you're purchasing land, look at the system that's in place. If it was a former, former citrus grove, I wouldn't worry about looking for a well guy to grow your trees. I'd be looking for and getting the um, soil test done. I would get the pollutant test done that's in your water. <clears throat> I just wanna like try to help people and try to help Florida and try to show them they're like, Ignoring everything that can grow their tropical fruit trees and their citrus without disease. Anyway, it's 
Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm. I think our seeds right now are like 50 cents each. Have a good day.